what is strain? So um, some really simple slides here. So this is from first principles. Strain is a change of dimension or shape. So there's some physical change and it's described in engineering terms as change of length over original length. And is represented by the symbol epsilon, as you can see here. Now, it should be obvious to say that if we had a change of length that was the same as the original length, so let's use an example. If we had a 100 millimeter length and we stretched this by a further 100 millimeters, we would have one strain. Now, one strain, obviously, most materials don't go to one strain. So we often talk about micro strain, which is invisible. OK, we can literally measure the invisible. So um, we're talking about one micro strain, which is 0 0.000001 units per unit, whether that's meters per meter, inches per inch. Um, if you think of uh, a meter rule, one micron in a meter is one micro strain. So a micron being a millionth of a meter. And if you actually calculate that down to work out that one micron a meter, what that does on a typical six millimeter gauge, we are talking about measuring six nanometer changes. And that only becomes apparent how small that is when you consider the wavelength of visible light is between four and 700 nanometers. So we are essentially um, measuring things that are two orders magnitude shorter than we could see really in, in any sort of visual system. And if you think of this six nanometer on six mil gauge, if we have a one millimeter gauge, we're measuring one nanometer changes. Now, if that doesn't quite compute in your brains, then uh, let's do another comparison. So um, this is a picture of, well, many of you will recognize, hopefully, the UNESCO World Heritage Bridge, the fourth rail bridge, the fourth road bridge, and then the new Queen's Ferry crossing. Now, this bridge is 2.7 kilometers long. And one microstrain is equivalent of a 2.7 millimeter change in the length of that bridge. So, you know, as I, as I put here, a typical iPhone, iPhone 12, 7.4 millimeters thick. So it's half the thickness of your mobile phone in two and a half kilometers. We're measuring that consistently, reliably, and in many cases, we can actually return to better than one microstrain. So that's a comparison of what we're actually trying to measure.